I don't know why I'm so angry doing this. <laughs> body language okay this is my body telling you like it's really trying to get the point across like that is a good perfume and welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Lala hi welcome welcome to my channel and if you're returning then hey what's up how you doing if I start to look a little greasy bear with me there's a lot of lights on I'm filming at night I don't usually film at night so I have a lot of lights on me right now and it's it's getting hot so today's video is gonna be a fun one we are going to be talking about my current favorite fragrance okay I just mentioned it not too long ago in my last perfume haul but when I feel like a perfume deserves its own dedicated video it has to happen it has to happen and this perfume deserves that okay so we're gonna be talking about a new fragrance from Tom Ford the cafe rose if you haven't heard of it already you're gonna hear about it right now so if you're interested in hearing about this must-have fragrance then just keep on watching Okay, so first we'll get into like the technical details about this perfume and then a little bit after we do that, I will tell you guys my opinion of it, the vibe I get from the perfume and you know, just my personal feelings about it. I'm like, should I hold it in the video? I'm like, no, nah, I'll just leave it there. I'll pick it up later. <laughs> so we're going to start with the Tom Ford website just to get the details and how they want us to, the way they want us to receive this product, like how they describe it. We're gonna talk about Tom Ford's website and then we're gonna jump over to Sephora cause Sephora gets into the like the notes and like the, the smell details. So Tom Ford's description says, essence of rose and dark coffee reveals sensual depth. Wow, I'm gonna pop up the word cause I say it wrong every time. Exudes an opulent florency or floral sea. Coriander, patchouli, and cardamom infuse a spicy warm to incense reason and sandalwood accords or resign, resin, to incense resin and sandalwood accords. And it does say for women. Sorry guys, I do feel like it can be unisex depending on how you like to smell but i do get like womanly vibes overall from this fragrance so okay so now for the scent it's of the floral family this is a classic floral so it's not considered a warm floral it's not a fresh floral it's just a classic floral the key notes are turkish rose bulgarian rose and coffee so for pricing the one ounce bottle which is the first size that i got it's like the 30 milliliter bottle that goes for 115 the 1 1.7 ounce which is the 50 milliliter bottle goes for 155 and the 3.4 ounce which is like your standard size bottle for perfume the 100 milliliter goes for 225 dollars and they label this as a long lasting scent so tom ford came out with a few new fragrances this year and this is one of them so there was a rumor i don't know where it started from that this perfume was like limited edition it was only you know offered for a limited time but i did verify and i was told that it is going to be a part of their collection forever so <laughs> We got lucky. This perfume, when I say it exudes excellence and just being a sexy, smart, sophisticated, beautiful woman, that's what this perfume does. It, that is what it gives, that is what it is. It. This is just, so first impressions, when I first got it, I had the small bottle. I smelt it, I thought it smelled amazing. I'm like, okay, let me get that for the fall season. And I really loved it. There was just an issue for me. There was something in it, even though it's not listed in the notes, I was getting like a musk scent and it made the perfume feel or smell a little bit more mature for me. That's what the word I'm gonna use. But it was only by like a tad incy bit that I smelt and felt that vibe from it. But as I kept using it and the bottle just kept getting emptier, I'm like, this thing? I have to have this. I have to keep wearing this. This perfume smells like 
you smell the rose you smell the floral it's there it's kind of like if flower bomb and coffee had a baby if you're familiar with the flower bomb scent it smells very pretty and floral and feminine like Look at me trying to say that so fast so I don't mess up the word feminine, feminine, feminine. Very feminine and floral. But the coffee, to me, it's almost like a chocolate. I know cocoa beans and like coffee beans, and they're all like the same family. But that coffee slash chocolate scent that you get from it blends perfectly with the amount of floral that's in this concoction. Like it's just a beautiful scent and it's very sexy. I feel like I say that a lot, but it is a very sexy, sophisticated, womanly fragrance. I do feel like the bottle gives like the perfect vibe. First of all, I like that this is a 3.4 ounce bottle, but it's so sleek. I was just thinking about how I'm gonna travel with this because at first I thought it was too big but then I realized it's 3.4 ounces. I've traveled with 3.4 ounce bottles before but this one is so sleek it's gonna go in my suitcase or one of my bags easily so. Funny story real quick I didn't even mean to get this size bottle I was gonna get the, the second size up this is the biggest bottle but I got finessed by the lady and she gave me the big bottle so so far with me wearing this it's been about what two three months this has to be my most complimented fragrance that i own like people have been asking me left and right what do i have on and i'm so proud i'm so proud of myself because i found this fragrance by myself nobody told me about it i just discovered it okay so for the vibes the way this makes me feel like what i would wear it for it gives me this is a good all-around fragrance and i'm not just trying to push it on to y'all like i don't work for tom ford this is not benefiting me in any way except if you know you're watching my video thank you so much subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up but the way this is it's just a good all-around perfume i wear it every day i wore it today this morning i went out for brunch i wore it today i'm gonna wear this to dinner tomorrow night to me it's more of an evening fragrance i feel like if you're single ladies if you're single wear this i'm telling you there's no way a man is gonna smell this on you and not say something to you not at least by your a drink and introduce himself get this i'm telling you right now i'm telling you and men you might even be surprised if you do a little <laughs> you might get a lady with this on who knows but for vibes overall i do feel like it's more of an evening fragrance like date night just going out to the club with your girls or dinner or something and you just want to smell very good and alluring yeah and a little goes a long way even though i have the worst habit of just spraying so much perfume on me in general you really don't need that much to like smell off maybe like a spray or two on the neck and then on your clothing you're good but i just have a bad habit of just just going in with this stuff like just all over the place spray it on my hair everything so right now this is literally like my go-to favorite scent i have also really been loving the killian paris um the angel share but i've even held off on getting the big bottle of that perfume because i love this one so much i was like okay i'm gonna grab this one first i'll get the killian later because i know that one i'm not gonna wear every day that's gonna be like an evening scent for me period the killian paris if you know what i'm talking about We'll get a video on that one soon too. But this Tom Ford, I feel like it's just a good scent for all around. If you're a working lady, if you're a dating lady, whatever you have going on in your life, I feel like this scent is very versatile, but good. It's like a good overall scent. It's not just like, okay, I have some scents that I chalk it up to everyday wear, like my Pink Friday, the Versace Bright Crystal, this Brown Girl Jane, even my Way the beach walk replica this valentino i wear every day as you can tell it's like gone but that tom ford i don't chalk it off to yeah i'm just gonna use it for every day like when i go run errands no i wear it when i know i'm going somewhere and i want to smell good like if i'm going to the gym i'm not gonna put that on if i'm going to just go to a drive through and pick up like a smoothie i'm not gonna put that on but if i know i'm gonna have a long mall day if i know i'm gonna go meet someone for lunch like if i know i'm gonna be around people or in the presence of someone i want to smell good and let them know like i know what i'll be doing when it comes to the scents i'm gonna have on something good and also if i'm going out for a special occasion it's just an overall perfect scent to me 
it's warm sweet a little spicy a little mature so I feel like it's good for a range of age groups. Tom Ford did its big one with that. There are other Tom Ford fragrances that I hear people rave about that I go and smell myself and I'm just kind of like, I don't hate them, but it's not worth. Tom Ford is expensive. So yeah, you guys, I really just wanted to share this with you all. It deserves its own dedicated video. So here you are. If you found me by search, this is your sign get it don't even don't even question yourself anymore you don't have to look up another video for another opinion i'm giving it to you real and real raw but definitely go smell it first don't just buy it because i said so definitely smell it at the store <laughs> so for rating if you're new here you've never been on my channel i usually give my perfumes a rate out of five stars we're giving this let me be honest it's a solid five it's a solid five. I don't remember what I gave it in the last video. I probably gave it like a 4.5 because that maturity scent that I, I was getting from it was like in the way, but literally like it doesn't bother me at all. I could just wear this every day. I could spray more on right now and I could I smell it on me right now. I don't need any more, but I could just do it again because that's just how good it smells. A solid five. I was gonna be dramatic and be like 12 stars, but no, I'm gonna give it a solid five. I feel like it's a really good choice of perfume. I don't know why I'm so angry doing this. <laughs> body language, okay? This is my body telling you, like it's really trying to get the point across, like that is a good perfume. If you haven't done so already, please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have tried this perfume. If you haven't, Please go smell it and come back to this video. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about it. Do you guys have any perfumes you want me to try? Let me know down below. Anything you want me to go smell and do a review on, I will do it. So that's all I have for y'all in today's video. Thank y'all so, so much for tuning in. And yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I'm Pop Molly. I rock time for...